Planning is a key component of SAP Analytics Cloud. Planning functionality allows your organization to forecast your financials, your budgets, your expenses, your workforce figures, and instantly view results and analytics in the same system. In order to plan an SAP Analytics Cloud, you need to know how to input data. First, it's important to note that planning inputs in SAC are usually done from the context of a story. This particular page here is a story, and in that story is a table object. That table object has planning enabled, the model that it's pulling data from has planning enabled, and therefore I'm allowed to plan, in other words, change numbers in this table. Once a story is set up for planning purposes, changing or entering in values is as simple as clicking into a cell and typing in the new value. However, there are a number of behaviors that are important to note when it comes to making planning inputs in SAP Analytics Cloud. First, you may have already noticed, but SAC will highlight cells that have changed due to the input you made. Watch as I make a change to utilities expense. This rolls in to building expense, which in turn rolls into operating expense. I also made my change in Q2 of 2024, which of course feeds in to the overall year of 2024. All of these impacted changes are highlighted so that you can quickly see the impact of any planning change you make. Next, we're going to cover different ways to input a value. First, you can simply type in a value into a cell. Very straightforward. You can also copy and paste values from other areas in the table using Control C and Control V shortcuts on your keyboard or by right clicking and using the respective options in there. Additionally, a very cool feature in SAC allows you to change values by amounts or percentages. Watch as I change periodic building expense here by 5%. I simply type plus 5% and the value changes accordingly. Now, another element to be aware of is a concept called disaggregation. All of the changes I've shown so far have been done by modifying the lowest levels of my account hierarchy, the leaf members or base members, and we've then seen how those values aggregate up when the values, say from periodic building expense or utilities expense, roll up into building expense, which in turn rolls up into operating expense. However, planning an SAC can also be done from a top-down perspective. Watch as I enter a value in at the building expense node and see how this value spreads or disaggregates among the children of that hierarchy level. Now I'm going to show this again where I input 5 million at a node level, but note that this node level is currently blank. It doesn't have any values there that exist prior to me changing the value to 5 million. In this situation, the value is spread equally amongst the children. However, if I make the same input into a cell where prior values exist, the behavior is slightly different. In this case, it's going to maintain the weight of what values were there previously amongst the children and modify those children's values in order to accommodate the new value of 5 million that I input at the hierarchy node level. Disaggregation is a very powerful and important behavior to understand when it comes to making planning inputs in SAP Analytics Cloud.